He was very impressed. He said you're going to be very hard to catch tomorrow. Do you feel that yourself? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I started off a little shaky, but made some good par putts to save my round. And then uh, I knew once you get through a certain hole, a couple of holes out here, which can be a little difficult, you've got more holes later on in the round that you can make some birdies. And uh, I was lucky enough to get through them and got to the back nine. I made, a f uh, I think, five birdies on the back nine to have a good round. The guys were also saying that the pin, pin placements were quite difficult out there today. Did you think they were? Uh, yes, they were. Uh, mm -hmm. They were tough to get close to the hole with the wind we had too. Um, but uh, there's a couple of holes out there with a little bit of local knowledge, like on 13, you know, you mm -hmm. can miss it right and bounce it down off the hill. Mm -hmm. 11, I didn't birdie it, but to hit it long back off that hill can be helpful. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, uh, it was plain difficult. The wind was tough. It seemed when you had a bogey, you had a birdie right away. You never let it get away from you. You're very much in control of your game. Yeah, uh, I did, and that's a that's a good thing to be able to do. Uh, I was very calm out there today. My my caddy said on the first tee, if you're not nervous, I can't remember what he said. I was like, then I must be wrong because I wasn't very nervous. I was very comfortable and excited to go out and play. Um, played with Paul for many years in college, and uh, it was fun to go out there and play with him. Are you thinking of a winning score tomorrow, or just? I honestly, I have no idea. I don't know. I know I'm leading, but I don't know by how many. Um, but no, it depends. It depends on what the conditions are like. Uh, just try not to make a double and a triple in the front nine like I did last time, and make it a little easier. Sounds great. Questions, please. Uh, um, Matt, you probably covered it a little bit in what you've said already, but um, there was a lot of jockeying for positions early on. The golf course was clearly playing a lot more difficult today with that wind. Are you able to quantify how more difficult it was compared to the opening two days? It's, uh, it's just not a normal wind I don't find out here from years of playing. The easterly is not a normal wind. It's normal, I find it normally a north or a south wind. Um, so you've got some side winds out there. Uh, it's, it was just tricky because it kept going from east and then it went to northeast, then it went to southeast. And it's just tough to trust some of those numbers. It got Paul on number nine where he hit a perfect shot and it came up in the bunker. Um, but it's, it, was, it was tougher and the pin locations were tougher. It was tougher to get access to out there. Jonesy, you look like you're struggling with your back a bit, stretching a lot and moving around. Is it is it troublesome? Is it affecting you at all? No, it's fine. It's nothing I haven't dealt with plenty of times in my life. Uh, I'll be fine. And it's an ongoing sort of a, a just soreness sort of thing? Yeah, it's something that golfers, I'm sure every golfer would deal with. We all have a bad back, uh, but nothing that uh, I can't play, play with and play through. You, uh, you, you just touched on um, your start in, on the final day in... 2015 you, you still came through and won that day what what can you learn what can you take from that into tomorrow if, if you know if you're having moments where it's not going well what, what can uh, you take from it just to stay patient give yourself opportunities it's the old saying one shot at a time which is kind of true but uh, yeah just to play smart and give yourself birdie opportunities um, I know the golf course I know the I know the gr breaks pretty well on the greens which I feel very comfortable on putting and uh, if something does happen like that, like it did in 15, I'll be, I'll be comfortable enough and I won't have to worry about it. Uh, yeah, Bernie. Give us an insight, the discussion with the rules official there at the end of the round. Near the end of the round, we were in the trees there. What was the discussion about? Uh, if I was in a tyre track or not, and then where my nearest drop would be. And uh, the lie wasn't too bad in the tyre track, and I didn't want to drop it because it could have plugged in the dirt. So it was an easy decision, but I hit it to the right. I, didn't, I hit someone, which I didn't know, and I feel bad about that. I hope they didn't get hurt. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just a very simple question. And then when you saw the ball rolling down the slope into a much better position than it was, what, what was your reaction there? Uh, yeah, I was, I knew, that's where I was trying to leave it on my second shot. Um, and then I was happy where it ended up. I was just, I hit the wrong, I took, chose the wrong shot my third shot, which was disappointing. But uh, I was happy for it to end up there because I know the shot I had to play and I just played the wrong one. Larry? Having won the Australian Open already, Matt, does that make it a bit easier tomorrow? Uh, I'm sure it's, I've got, I can draw on it. Um, what, I've won, I've won a lot of golf in my life. I've won Houston Open, won a lot of, couple of other, a couple of other small, smaller tournaments and then the Australian Open, but uh, it's only four years past and it's, I'll draw on some of that experience tomorrow, of course. Mark? There's been a lot of work done on the fairways over the last couple of months. How did you find the lies today? They're, uh, they're good. They're uh, very tight. The fairways are very firm, and that's why that shot on 17, I chose the wrong shot. I know you can't go high with anything here, especially short. 
I should have gone low and I went with a 60 and the bounce just on these tight fairways I have too much bounce on my club to get the ball get under it so um, but they're uh, no they're totally fine they're as good as I've seen them for a long time well, we're having a blue Matty on the radio coverage about how long your putt was for birdie on 18. What, what do you reckon it was? Three feet. Three feet. Okay. Yeah, I lose. Thanks. <laughs> and Matty, uh, it lipped. In, it looked like it lipped in. It actually reminded us of the putt that you won to the win. Open with. It was definitely on the low side. Yeah, definitely caught the low edge. Any more questions, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Hope we see you there tomorrow. Thank you. Great. Thank you.